in the UFC at present, and when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this matchup, Prevailing Wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the games. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike, if you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. If you're the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart with similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 130 pounds. Awesome! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Bruce, the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room? Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Oh, he got 
that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbows inside, because okay. otherwise, you're gonna land once, it's gonna shut everything down. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh! Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Nice kick. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice head kick. You don't know when that leg kick comes. Nice move. Nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big kick land. Oh, nice. Nice. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Watch the shot. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. And he landed the right hand there. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Lee's hook to the body there is blocked. Shot looks pretty good, but ultimately the defense was there. Attempts the front kick there. Nice kick. Well placed with the kick. Oh, big head kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Lee. Able to check that kick as well. Big kick lands. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Shots look like the score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea 
This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Punch lands over the top. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh! Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Goes back to that left kick once again. Able to check the high kick. Head kick. Oh! Oh! Lands him. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Ooh, big shot lands. Big leg kick land. Lee's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Watch the strike. Y2 lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touched it over and over again. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm landing those nice, beautiful punches. Nice jab. Falls up with a nice right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. landing these big body kicks. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Ooh, what a head kick. Nice punch there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he could... Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Oh, big left. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Pretty good right hand. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Ten minutes in the books. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs 
and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. But still, right where we started. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Great punch. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. He has his uppercut All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty for this position. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Big kick. Back to the feet now. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Good punch land. That is a thudding leg kick. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA fall. Watch guys now fight behind the jab. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like you can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. There's no give on that leg kick. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body, and you gotta think his opponent is gonna continue to attack that area. Big head kick lands. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Straight punch lands. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, oh, oh. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the court. Got him hurt very bad. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. This is very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just misses there with the left. Big body kick. Kick block. Big head kick land. Big punch land through the middle. And both guys really throwing with authority. That knee might have landed there. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunk. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Leg kick, oh. he didn't like that left hand. He's got him right here. Seconds winding down in round three. Oh, straight right. Wow, what a round. All right, the round is over.
over, gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Big kick lands. Oh, single collar tie here. What a body kick. Great punch landing with so much power. Nice slip to avoid the left. It's the elbow there. Big and kick. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands. Oh! What a fantastic strike to go at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Just over three minutes to go now. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Lee's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. It, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Damn. Oh! Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 22 seconds of round number 4. Playing the winner by Knockout Osama. Well, there will be no 
Coach, shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Coach. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hold.